So uh, we'll start this off with like a clip from Agnes. Yeah, I think the entire thing is terrible. The fact that uh, teams are getting placed into playoffs through online play. I said this last time as well. I just don't think that's good. I think you have to have everybody play group stages. Everybody made the tournament, right? Just because you get first seed out of an online tournament where you're playing at your home doesn't mean you get a playoffs spot. So that's problem number one. Uh, so obviously, first of all, loud situation being the top team in Brazil, but that region not having a team that was insta seeded into playoffs because they're just a numbers thing. Instead, it went to Leviathan from Latam, mm -hmm. and they kind of like mixed loud in with crew and Leviathan, and they just sort of, you know, uh, that's obviously not good. But let's talk about this idea of sort of seedings for tournaments or seedings for like playoffs being decided in, in online games. In an era where a lot of the tournaments are already happening online, I do get the frustration of, of the players too, of being like, well, fuck, it doesn't really feel that they get any advantage at all, but you, you got to deal, uh, you got to play with the cards that are dealt to you, I guess, with the with the format that, that we currently have. Okay, there's like one positive, which is like the overall ecosystem where you kind of have some regions confirmed to the top eight. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That that in my that in, that's like the <clears throat> only positive in my mind. Like that's a cool thing to have like mm -hmm. regions set to a certain um into like into the top eight into playoffs. The thing that really sticks with me is when you are playing these group games and you are showing all of your strats and stuff. This is such a strat heavy game, and it's so it's so it's getting easier and easier to anti strat. And the more data you have, it's easier and easier. So it means it's so hard coming out of these groups.